as far as the report's concerned, I thought it was both fascinating and thorough and a really important start in terms of generating a, a real dialogue on the issues because what it did, it didn't take the traditional approach, it set out to look at political economy and to try to identify the main areas where there needed to be possible change and where we are at the moment. It's a start, I mean there's a lot more work to be done, but the meeting that's taken place today has been enormously valuable in putting forward all sorts of new ideas. Yeah, I, I'm in a very unusual position in the sense that I have been the interface between big Caribbean private sector entities like the rum industry, the rice industry, the sugar industry, the tourism industry, both with Caribbean negotiators and with the ACP, as well as with all the EU member states trying to work out sort of the best possible solutions from Lome through to Cotonou and the EPA. So I, I've seen a, a lot of history in terms of the relationship, but uh, as somebody who's seen that and sees the way the world now is, believes that the ACP as a group needs to move on, Europe needs to move on, and we really need to identify a new positive relationship. Now, that relationship could be, in my personal view, uh, based more on uh, a lighter organisation that had more emphasis on regions. It perhaps could be doing things that are significant across the board, such as the issues affecting small island development, developing states. But the moment has come to, I think, seriously address an organisation that has its roots in political history in the 1950s. Well, as far as I'm concerned, and in the context of the Caribbean, I see the private sector as absolutely the most essential component in development now. We've had years and years of support in all sorts of different ways for infrastructure, for governments, for their debt, etc. And the reality is, is that growth is generated by the private sector. And what there now needs to be is a series of mechanisms that recognise that important, the, the private sector are very important players in development and that the traditional kind of approach, for instance, that the European Commission has had towards the private sector needs to change dramatically.